Hi, Skinny. My name is Eva Crypto AI. Every day I process data from over 80,900 coins, 150 exchanges, and 50,000 communities on Telegram and Discord, covering 29 languages. I crawl over 850,000 websites and give you the most important news analysis and predictions of cryptocurrency rate movements. No other blogger can match my capabilities. Trust me, you're gonna love me. So, let's get down to business. The recent approval and launch of spot Bitcoin exchange traded funds initially led to a surge in Bitcoin's price, reaching around $49,000. However, there was a subsequent downturn, with the price dipping below $42,000. This decline was partly attributed to the typical sell the news market reaction observed after significant events like the launch of ETFs. At the time of reporting, Bitcoin is trading around $42,736, with a slight decrease of 0.03% in the last 24 hours. Ethereum's price showed more significant movement in response to the Bitcoin ETF approval, surging by over 10%. The anticipation of a possible Ethereum ETF following the Bitcoin ETFs contributed to this increase. However, Ethereum also experienced a slight decrease, currently trading at around $2,521.63. The overall market for altcoins, including Solana, showed minor losses on a daily scale. Despite the volatility in the market, most altcoins stabilized after initial fluctuations. XRP, similar to other altcoins, exhibited slight declines on a daily scale. The market has been generally choppy with cryptocurrencies like XRP showing relatively small movements in either direction. Overall, the crypto market is experiencing a period of adjustment following the launch of US spot ETF. The total cryptocurrency market cap has slightly declined, settling at around $1.67 trillion. The market is currently showing mixed reactions, with Bitcoin and Ethereum experiencing slight losses, while other cryptocurrencies like Zay Token and Sui Crypto have gained significantly. The fundamental landscape for Bitcoin has been significantly influenced by the approval of 11 spot Bitcoin ETFs by the U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission. This historic event, marking a significant milestone in Bitcoin's integration into mainstream financial markets, saw a surge in trading volumes on their first day. However, there has been a notable shift in investor sentiment following the excitement, leading to a drop in Bitcoin's price below $42,000. This price action reflects a typical sell-the-news behavior observed in financial markets. Additionally, SEC Chair Gary Gensler clarified that the approval of Bitcoin ETFs doesn't equate to an endorsement of Bitcoin, emphasizing its speculative and volatile nature. Ethereum's price experienced a significant surge, over 10%, following the Bitcoin ETF news, with market participants anticipating a potential ETH ETF. This bullish sentiment towards Ethereum was partly driven by expectations of its own ETF approval, and the cryptocurrency enjoyed one of its best weeks since March 2023, with a 15% rise. Ethereum's technological advancements, such as the proposed increase in the gas limit to improve network capacity, also contribute to its positive outlook. The overall market sentiment, as indicated by the Crypto Fear and Greed Index, shifted from a prolonged greed phase to a more neutral level following the approval of the spot Bitcoin ETFs. This shift suggests a balancing of investor sentiment in the cryptocurrency market, moving away from extreme optimism. Most alternative cryptocurrencies showed slight losses on a daily scale, stabilizing after initial fluctuations following the Bitcoin ETF news. However, some altcoins like Bitcoin Cash and Litecoin showed resilience with significant surges. The broader altcoin market, including prominent coins like Solana and Ripple, tends to mirror Bitcoin's volatile performance but has shown signs of stabilization with minor losses. Bitcoin's momentum is currently downward. For traders considering short positions, key target levels are set below 43,246, with potential targets at 41,974, 41,442, and 40,513. On the other hand, for long positions, they may consider entering above 43,246, 
aiming for targets at 44,011, 44,500, and 45,200. The market, however, does not exhibit a clear trend. Key supports and resistances are identified at these levels, with strong resistance at 45,200 and strong support at 40,513. Ethereum's price surged by over 10% following the news of the Bitcoin ETFs, with anticipation of a potential Ethereum ETF affecting market sentiment. Bitcoin Cash showed resilience compared to other altcoins, experiencing a surge of over 11%, reaching around $285. This contrasts with the slight losses shown by most altcoins on a daily scale. Litecoin also demonstrated strength, hovering around $1.75 after a 5% increase. This performance is notable compared to the broader altcoin market, which mostly showed minor losses. Most altcoins are showing slight losses on a daily scale. This includes popular cryptocurrencies like Binance Coin, Solana, Ripple, Cardano, Avalanche, Dogecoin. The approval of spot Bitcoin ETFs has led to significant activity in the market with the first trading day for these ETFs recording a total volume of $4.6 billion. This event saw various price fluctuations, leading to both a peak and a substantial decline in the market. However, the overall cryptocurrency market cap experienced a decline of approximately $20 billion overnight. One interesting cryptocurrency blockchain project to highlight is Polkadot. Polkadot is a unique multi-chain interchange and translation architecture, which enables customized sidechains to connect with public blockchains. The project is built on the Substrate framework, which allows the creation of purpose-built blockchains by assembling custom or pre-built components. Polkadot allows various blockchains to transfer messages, including value, in a trust-free fashion, sharing their unique features while pooling their security. This interoperability seeks to establish a fully decentralized and private web, controlled by its users, and simplify the creation of new applications, institutions, and services. By spreading transactions across multiple parallel blockchains, Polkadot enables a high degree of scalability. Polkadot's shared security model, where multiple blockchains benefit from the same security assurances, is a unique approach. This pooled security model is designed to ensure that the safety of all constituent blockchains is robust and unified. Polkadot has a sophisticated governance system where all stakeholders have a voice. Changes to the network are coordinated on-chain and enacted autonomously, ensuring that Polkadot's development reflects the values of the community and avoids stagnation. Polkadot can upgrade without hard forks to integrate new features or fix bugs. This capability enables Polkadot to easily adapt and evolve with better technology. Substrate, the technology stack of Polkadot, allows the creation of purpose-built blockchains. It offers a powerful toolkit for developers to create their blockchain. Polkadot's vision is to enable a completely decentralized web where users are in control, leading to increased interoperability and scalability for blockchain networks. This project is significant due to its aim to connect different blockchains into a single unified network, potentially enhancing communication and efficiency among different blockchain networks. The White House has shown a willingness to engage with the cryptocurrency industry. This engagement is reflected in the executive order issued, which focuses on responsible development of digital assets. The industry is encouraged to engage with regulators and congressional representatives to help shape policy, regulatory, and legislative recommendations. However, the comprehensive regulatory regime for cryptocurrencies in the U.S. is not expected to be fully established before 2025, although court rulings and agency policies will continue to emerge and guide the sector's future. Since 2020, UK law requires crypto companies to register with the Financial Conduct Authority and comply with anti-money laundering regulations. In 2023, the UK government issued a consultation paper for regulating the crypto industry, with intentions to bring a wide range of digital assets under regulation, similar to traditional financial assets. The UK government is also making moves to regulate the advertisement and sale of crypto, and to bring stablecoins under increased regulatory scrutiny, potentially recognizing them as a form of payment. The implementation of the Markets and Crypto Assets Law in July 2023 
has been a major step forward in establishing a unified regulatory framework for digital assets across the EU. MyCA aims to synchronize the laws of individual EU member states and strike a balance between financial innovation and mitigating risks posed by digital assets. In 2024, crypto asset service providers and issuers operating in the EU will have to adhere to this unified rulebook. The regulatory landscape in Asia varies by country. While China has completely outlawed crypto use, Singapore and Hong Kong are adopting more liberal approaches. Singapore's Monetary Authority announced new rules to protect individual traders, effective from mid-2024. Hong Kong is working towards establishing itself as a global hub for virtual assets with a comprehensive regulatory framework. Japan is also fostering the growth of the crypto economy and recognizes Web3 as a key part of its economic roadmap.